All right, I'm gonna walk you through uh, how I do my pump, pump down test every morning and night during my pre-trip and post-trip. And this is something you should do. It's gonna help with like, if you have automatic slack adjusters, if you do this every day, it will help those slack adjusters. So yeah, I'll show you how I do my pump down tests. Quick disclaimer, use a wheel chock or be on flat ground when you do this and you might upset people that are around you, but it is part of your pre-trip and part of your post-trip, so just do it, and you know, if they yell at you, they yell at you. I'd rather have you be safe and do this test than have an airline blow out or have an air leak when you pull into a scale. So what I've done here, here's my air gauges, is I've built up my air pressure. The next thing I do is I shut the truck off. And I turn it to the auxiliary mode. So all your gauges and everything are still gonna be working. The next thing I do with my foot hovering over the brake pedal, I release the brakes on the truck and trailer. The reason you wanna keep your foot over the brake is in case you start rolling away because the truck, if you drive an automatic, it needs to be in neutral. Okay, as you can tell, the air has stabilized. So the next thing you do is you push hard on your brakes. And you see, the air drops and you wanna hold this for one minute. And the reason you push hard on it is if you have a bad airline, the airline will blow here in the parking lot, not out on the highway. And if you watch my air here, my air gauges, you do not want to lose more than seven pounds of air in one minute. So you hold this for one minute. So I'm still holding down the brake pedal and I'm listening outside of the window. I rolled the window down and I'm listening for any air leaks. Now I run a reefer trailer, so my reefer is currently shut off. All right, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pump the brakes down and you should, once your air pressure drops below like 60 PSI, you should hear an alarm go off. So here, we'll get going. So there's my alarm and between 40 PSI and 20 PSI, you're gonna hear the brakes release themselves. Okay, the next step is turn the truck back on and let the air pressure build back up. You can see it's currently climbing. We're at about 45 PSI on the main and 45 on the secondary. And you just let the pressure build back up in your air brake system and if you run a reefer trailer make sure you get out and turn it back on so as you can tell once again here's the two air gauges main air gauge secondary and we're building pressure so that's how I do my pump down test after doing the rest of my pre-trip and post-trip um, I do this twice a day because it's my responsibility to do it and yes, I've had drivers get mad at me and yell at me because I've woken them up by doing it. And I apologize to them. I always try and be respectful. I usually try and pull out of a spot and do it away from people or before I pull into a spot, you know. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, it's something that is your responsibility and it might save your butt. You know, you might blow an airline in a parking lot versus out on the interstate or you might be able to catch a massive airline leak before you cross a scale. So I suggest doing this pump down test twice a day during your pre-trip and post-trip. And like I said, if you run a reefer trailer like I do, make sure you get out and turn it back on. All right, take care everybody, have a great day.